Hello, my name is Taylor Hansen with Van Wall Equipment, and today we're gonna go over setup for the Gen 4 4600 or 4640 display. Today, we have a Gen 4 4600 on our armrest in this combine. To start with, we're gonna load in a setup file. To do so, we're gonna click on the menu button on the bottom right-hand corner, click on Systems, and then File Manager. So I have sent a setup file to this display using Operation Center. So notice right here, it says import from received files. That one file has not been imported yet. We'll simply click on that, click on next, and right here is the file that I had sent. I'll push next, and it's gonna load all of that data that was included in that setup file. Once we verify everything in this list is correct, we will click on import and it's gonna bring up an import complete box when it is successful. Simply push okay and close out of the file manager and the menu. Once you get back to your homepage, you can click on the bottom left-hand corner, our setup tab. In here is going to house everything that we need to set up our display correctly when we are combining. The first icon up on the top left-hand corner, our locations box, we're gonna click on there, and this is where we're going to import in our client farm and field name. Simply click on the client farm and field name that you want and what field that you're in. Once you have everything correct there, you can push OK. Notice when I pushed OK, a lot of things pre-populated in for me. This is because we created a setup file in Operation Center and this client farm and field name is associated with the crop type of corn and our variety locator over here. Next, we're gonna click on our equipment. In here, we're gonna verify our combine. The first, the first tab is going to have our profile name and our serial number. Then we're gonna go in and verify our GPS offsets for our combine and our header. And a lot of the times on the Gen 4 displays, those are gonna be preloaded in. We always do recommend to get out a tape measure and measure those um, to verify that they are correct. These are for your combine. Once you have those and you know those are correct, you can push on the save button and then you can go over to the header and verify those as well. Again, it is always good to get out a tape measure and verify those are the correct working um, points. Once you have all of your machine profile offsets correct, select the save button and select OK. Next, we're gonna move over to the work summary. Again, this is all preloaded in based off of our setup file, but we do wanna go through and verify those are correct. For crop type, if that is incorrect, you can simply click on the white box and choose all other crop types and choose the correct crop. For this scenario, we are gonna stick with corn. We'll push OK. And then the second one is our variety. If we do have just a single variety, we can click in there and click our single corn variety that we are combining in the field. For variety locator though, we're gonna choose the second bubble and click on that white box. And here we can choose our variety locator map for this field. Once we have verified that is the correct one, select OK we can see a preview of that field along with what variety was planted in the spring during that time. Up here, we can either check or uncheck our audible tones and our visual notifications if we so choose to have those turned on. Once this is all correct, we can push OK. And then we're going to verify that our unit selected is bushels. Once that is selected, we can push OK, and our work setup is complete for the Gen 4 display. You can push OK to save everything and to exit back to our main page. From here, we're gonna wanna set up our pages. Down on the bottom right-hand corner, we're gonna click on Menu, then we're gonna click on Applications, then Layout Manager. 
First, what we wanna do is we wanna come down to our all run pages. Here is where we're going to add any new run pages or create new ones that we would like to have on our display. The cool thing about the Gen 4 display is that these are all customizable to how you would like them. To add a new one, you're gonna simply push add new on the bottom and you first wanna name that run page. For today, we're gonna name that harvest test. Once we have that, we can click on add module on the bottom left hand corner. Again, we can choose any of the applications that we would like to see there. For this one, I'm gonna add an auto track guidance button. Then I'm gonna come back down here, add a new one. Click on applications. And for this one, I wanna see a picture of where I'm mapping. So I'm gonna click on the mapping one. And then I'm gonna scroll until I find one that I like and click on add. The cool thing about the Gen 4 display is that I can toggle and move that picture to wherever I would like it. If I would like to add any more to this page, I can click on add module again and go find whatever icon I would like to add in there. Once I have it how I like it, I can simply push on the save button on the bottom right hand corner. From here, to make those pages active, I'm gonna come up to the top left-hand corner and click on Run Pages Set. Here, there's already a default run page set in here. I can simply push on the pencil button to edit that. Otherwise, I can create new um, run pages down here on the bottom bar. For this scenario, I'm gonna just edit the one that I currently have by clicking on the pencil. From here, I can edit by removing any of these that I do not want and then adding in new pages down here on the bottom left that I created back in my all run pages tab. So from here, I can click on the ones that I want and push OK and it'll continue to add those to my list. Once I have my run pages set how I like, I can push save and X out of my layout manager in my menu. From there, those pages will reset and up here on the top right hand corner, I can toggle between those using the arrows. And this completes the setup of your Gen 4 4600 display. If you have a 4640 in the cab, the setup will be just the same. If you have any further questions or problems when you're setting up, please call our Precision Hotline number. Thank you for watching.